Alright, everybody. Thanks for joining us on another quilt on tour tea time with an everyday quilter. We have our tea ready. Um, if you want to purchase your own tea time mug, they're on our website quiltsontour.com for $15 and you'll get it personalized with your name on it. Get it up close there. And your name with the little needle and pin. They're super cute. They're adorable. Yeah, I make them. Well, my husband helps me make them, nice. <laughs> but they're fun. Um, so today we have joining us is Claudia. And Claudia, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, let's see. I've been, um, I'm married to, I call him my math man, because anytime I need math help, he helps me. Um, I call him that because I went into Hobby Lobby one time and spent um, about a hundred dollars too much one time. And <laughs> I've had fabric forever because of that mistake. So now we joke that I'm not allowed to go to Hobby Lobby without him. <laughs> um, but we've been married. It'll be 45 years this year. Oh, wow. So a long time. Um, we have a beautiful daughter and son-in-law and they've blessed us with the best grand blessings that anybody <laughs> could ever imagine, Tara and Ethan. So we're having fun with them. That's cool. Um, so, go ahead. I'm sorry. So how long have you been quilting? Um, I remember quilt, not quilting necessarily, but cutting out quilt pieces for my mom and grandma when I was a little girl, wow. just squares and triangles, that kind of thing. So I had to have been probably six or seven at that point. Um, and been sewing really that long. Anytime I could take home back in school, um, because I'm old enough to have a, a, who have had home ec. <laughs> um, I took sewing because I absolutely love it. And then um, a, a couple years ago, maybe I started um, I, a little bit of quilting before that, but very little. Mm -hmm. But now it's like the only thing I sew really is just quilts now. Cool. Um, and still in the learning process, I think. And I think that's one of the reasons why the, um, the quilts on tour, the swaps have been mm -hmm. so good for me because I've seen Oh, that's well, how it should look. And so those have been really, really awesome. good. So thank you for uh, doing sure. that. Sure. Do you have any um, like special memories of quilting? Like, you know, I know you said you started with your mom and grandma. Is there like something that just stands out to you? I don't know if anything stands out to me, but just that time where all of us girls uh, sat around the table or on the couch and mm -hmm. all of us just cut, you know, what somebody wrote it out, drove, drew it out and somebody cut. And wow. so uh, it was just fun time with the girls and my family. That's nice. Yeah. Do you have a favorite quilt that you've made? Um, I recently just made my favorite one, actually. It was, um, I don't have it because I gave it to my daughter. So it's the snowflake. And I actually did um, this one, but all in red. Oh, okay. And it, it turned out really cute. So um, yeah, so super easy instructions. So that was great. Awesome. So do you have any tips for a beginner quilter? Um, that old thing that I hear all the time, make sure you cut correctly, which I <laughs> guess I have a hard time with sometimes. And that quarter inch seam. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, just have fun with it. And if it's not perfect, none of us are perfect. So just enjoy the moment of it all. Yeah, that's what I always say. A perfect quilt is a store-bought quilt. Exactly. It's, you know, those little mistakes that really only you will notice are what make it yours. And I, right. I kind of like those more than the, the store-bought ones because it's just a little bit more personal. Yeah, yes. So what's your next quilting project? Well, I'm currently working on, um, I believe it's through Missouri Star Quilt and it's camper something or another. And it's, so it's these little campers. That's adorable. So I've made 20 of them and that's what it calls for. And one thing I try to do on most anything I make uh, involve my grandchildren a little bit. Mm -hmm. So they both love uh, dinosaurs. So I assume that they so ever cute. went camping, they would hope that a dinosaur <laughs> would um, come into their campground. So right. I, I try to put a little bit of something that they'll see and enjoy. So right yeah, so now, is that right. applique? Yeah, it's applique. And um, so I just got them all ironed on. So now the sewing part starts. Mm -hmm. They're really cute. That's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
So when you finish a quilt, do you send it off to a long arm or do you actually quilt it yourself? Um, I've done it all by myself, um, though I'm not good. It's always been just stitch in the ditch. Mm -hmm. And um, I decided I was going to um, break out this year and try to take, or last year actually, and take something to the quilter, mm -hmm. um, at, to the long armor. And I did and uh, fell in love with how much better it looked than <laughs> what I can do. So now yeah. I've taken several and I have several there now. Yeah. I haven't taken the leap yet of taking, sending it to a long arm yet, but I think I want to try it one time just to see, but I just love like the intricate designs that they can put using a quilting machine like that. Exactly. exactly. Hopefully one day when I grow up, I can yeah. have a long arm machine of my own. <laughs> well, I went to my um, fabric store, my favorite fabric store and was shocked at how expensive they are. So yeah. it's like, okay. Yeah. I think I'll just keep sending them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're almost the price of a car. Yes. <laughs> expensive. So when you finish a quilt, do you usually um, hand bind it or do you machine bind? What's your favorite I way machine, of doing it? I machine bind. Okay. But um, I've started working on some hexes. I've got a mm -hmm. project that I'm working on. And um, so doing a lot of hand sewing there, I think I might try to, my next quilt, I might hand bind and see how I do. Yeah. I find it to me, I usually hand bind just because I can't get the seams to line up right. And I think it looks funny, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I love just sitting and watching TV and sewing and you have the blanket, you're like you're all snuggled under it while you're hand sewing. To me, it's just really relaxing. I really, that's probably my favorite part of making a quilt is putting the binding on it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. I find it really relaxing. Nice. All right. Um, I think that's it. Do you have any other tips or tricks that you might want to give? Again, just have fun with it and enjoy it. And, um, you know, that's what I'm, I'm loving it and just enjoying it. My husband says I've become obsessed with it because I watch maybe a few too many videos and <laughs> stuff, but those have been very helpful. Like your uh, information videos mm -hmm. have been very helpful. They're quick, easy, and, um, you know, just kind of okay. like, oh, okay, I'll do that next time. And that should make it better. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I still go back um, joining my binding. I don't know if you watched that video, but I had some issues on that video and I will still go back and rewatch myself on that video. Anytime I have to join the ends of a binding together, <laughs> oh. I still, I don't know, that part gets me sometimes. <laughs> The more you watch it, the more you'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> and I don't always, like, that's the last part, and you only do it once on a quilt. So it's like, unless you're doing, you know, a quilt a week, you don't do it that often. Right, right. Yeah, because a block, oh, I not made that mistake, so I can quick switch it on the next, right. next block, but on a, a binding, yeah, it's yeah. the next one. <laughs> yep. So how many quilts do you think you've made total so far? Um. Oh. Maybe about 20. 20. Because I've made other things like pillows that I've quilted, mm -hmm. um, some throws, and I've made, um, oh, I can't think, I think they're called quilt hugs, where they're just like a, um, a shawl that you would put on. Oh, okay. I've made those for um, like cancer patients. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of that. And then I, I've also made thousands of um sanitary products for uh girls in foreign countries who if if they're that special time they can't go to school right and so these are uh washable reusable oh. products so I've made literally thousands of those wow and so, where do you donate those through um I have a friend and what is her organization called oh I'm so sorry I just that's okay her name that I can't remember her name God is grace that's it okay and um she goes to Uganda and um it's sad because one week a, a month the girls can't go to school yeah. um and so this way they can continue to go to school during that special time wow yeah that's awesome I'm sure that's a blessing for them that you send those over um if you want to send me the, her website I'll put that link in the YouTube description just in okay. case anybody else um wants to send something over to them as well. Um, oh, I, that. thank you. Sure. I mean, I know part of my um, vision of quilting is to make stuff to to donate to people who 
who don't know that they need it almost, but they do mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. like that situation. Um, yeah, that's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a feel good thing, much yeah. like the quote hugs are as well, you know, yeah. when I've made those for people, knowing that, you know, when they're getting their chemotherapy or their treatment of whatever their treatment is, that they're being covered by that, which, you know, I pray for them when I make it so that right. I feel like they're being prayed for when they wear it. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Claudia, very much for joining us. And don't You're forget to... Um, Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done that already, so you can hear more of our Tea Time with an Everyday Quilter interviews. Um, and don't forget to join our Facebook group so you can participate in our swaps. I think our next one, I think I'm pushing it till June to start so everybody has kind of a month to take a breather so I can take a breather. Because <laughs> we've been doing them straight now since November, November, I think. It's only like a week or two break in between. So it gets kind of overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> and those, those have been so much fun. So yeah. thank you for oh, organizing sure. that. I've really enjoyed them. And it's just been, you know, great getting to know everybody. And I, you know, I can't wait. I think we have like 270 people in our Facebook group. So I would love to set this up to do all 270 to, so we can all get to know each other. <laughs> yes, that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to purchase a mug um, on quiltsontour.com for $15 with uh, personalization. Thanks again, Claudia, for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thanks.